Welcome, Jake, to you, and thanks a lot for joining us here on Bay News 9. It's your news channel. I'm Jen Holloway, and today is Monday. It's April 5th. It's now 10 o'clock, and our top coverage at this hour, we're going to take you to Tampa, where we expect to learn more about a deadly hit-and-run accident. We're going to go now to a press conference live in Tampa. Barry Cohen on the right, and his client on the left. Father, on her right, Greg Porter, her mother, Lily Porter, and her sister, Kelly Porter. Um, Jennifer was the driver of the Echo uh, Toyota that was involved in the accident uh, last Wednesday. And she wanted to come forward to do the right thing. Um, the first thing she wanted to do was to tell Lisa Wilkins how sad she is over the death of Bryant Durante and the condition of her other two children, Lawan and Akina. She will share that with Ms. Wilkins personally. Because Ms. Wilkins stated that she had no hatred in her heart, which was a tremendously courageous thing to be able to say under these circumstances, I believed her when I saw her say that. So the family went to her home on Saturday to share and to tell Ms. Wilkins how deeply sorrow, sorry they all were about this terrible tragedy. A dear friend of Ms. Wilkins by the name of Beverly told us that it was not the right time. They were celebrating the life of those two children. The timing was wrong and was very gracious and said that hopefully we could do that another day. Jennifer showed, she called me the day after this incident, her family did, and I, that was, and I could, was able to see her on Friday. And when we talked, we immediately, we immediately knew, and Jennifer expressly said that we needed, she needed to turn herself in, that's why she came. We called the authorities, and we took them to the car that Jennifer was driving. And we cooperated with them and we have been cooperating with them. And we will continue to cooperate with, with them um, just as soon as Jennifer is able to do so. Mrs. Wilkins also stated that she didn't want the lives of these two children to be in vain. And we totally understand that. And we we urge the driver of the Honda and the driver of the van to come forward and to have the same kind of courage that Jennifer Porter demonstrated in doing the right thing help the authorities understand what happened and to pray and hope and to, that such a tragedy is prevented in the future. No one knows how he or she will react in the face of what Jennifer was faced with. frightened beyond imagination when all of a sudden something happens that no one can ever anticipate. The shock, the thoughts running through your mind, the fear, as we sit here after the fact, no one can, can begin to imagine the fear that someone experiences. 
But Jennifer, who has made good decisions all her life, growing up and as a young teacher at Mueller Elementary School, again made the right decision to cooperate with the authorities. And that's what she's doing. Jennifer will, at this time, she asked me if she could say something to Mrs. Wilkins and her family and friends, something that she wrote out. So I'm going to ask her to share that with Mrs. Wilkins. school which occurred yesterday on Sunday 
some of you may have even seen the superintendent of the school was there, and I think there were a lot of public officials. Was a, so she worked late at school that night, and then she was coming home from school. Will she make another attempt to reach out to the family? Uh, I'm hopeful that after the celebration of the life of, of Brian and Durante is completed, that uh, the family will see fit to permit her to look at them and to share with them her sorrow. Barry, when will she meet with the investigators? Just as soon as she's able to do so. She's not able to do so right now, but they want to speak to her, and uh, as soon as she's able to do so, uh, she will meet with them. Why is she not able to do so now? Just even, why? Yes. Because she's been through a trauma that no one can imagine. Uh, and she's having to deal with a lot of of, uh, of uh, really tough issues. Sorry, this is a hard one to ask, but um, I, uh, I guess it's fair to say that uh, as one of the most prominent attorneys in town, I mean, this is a family of some modest means. Uh, how, how, is, how, is that, how do they afford a very home? I don't usually discuss my fees, Warren. Um, but uh, I'll say this about this case, that uh, there are cases that come into this office that fee is not an issue. Uh, Leanne Gowdy and Steve Romine, Kevin Cowery, were working with me on, on this case. We make decisions that we think are, uh, are best for, uh, for people, and money is not always a consideration. Uh, I saw the plight of this young lady I saw the hurt that she felt, and I didn't care whether she could afford us or whether she couldn't afford us. Uh, the right thing to do, uh, we did the right thing, and she's doing the right thing. And we hope that... you're doing it pro bono? Doesn't mean anything. It just means just what I said. Gary, is it accurate to say she was too scared to stop at the time of the accident? I'm not going to get into what her state of mind was, although I think that's a pretty reasonable inference to, based on what I said um, about her state. You can't describe it. Uh, you just have to imagine. Okay, I think that's enough. I think I think that's enough. I think that's enough. Uh, so thank you all for coming and permitting us to share this with you in the community. Thank you very much. All right, it's now 10-12. You've been watching a news conference from the offices, the Tampa offices of Attorney Barry Cohen. You saw a young lady, Jennifer Porter, who was sitting to Barry's right, who would have been on the left side of your screen now. In accordance with our Bay News 9 crime guidelines, normally we would not name Jennifer Porter or show her image because she's not been charged with a crime. Again, that's with our crime coverage guidelines. But keep in mind, it was the Porter family and their attorney who called the news conference this morning and it was her wish, it was Jennifer's wish, to appear to the public today. Now, if you'd like a closer look at our Bay News 9 crime guidelines, simply log on to our website at baynews9.com and click on the crime guidelines icon, and that will give you a better feeling of how we treat cases like this. If you're just now joining us, it was a press conference that was started just after 10 o'clock this morning, and we heard from Jennifer Porter. She spoke very softly, very solemnly, and here's a portion of what Jennifer had to say just a few moments ago. I wish there was more than I could say to ease your pain. I know there is nothing I can do to bring your two precious, precious sons back. Bryant and Durante. And I will continue to pray for the speedy recovery of your other two children. May God bless all of you. Words from Jennifer Porter. We now know that uh, she was one of the drivers who reportedly hit two of the children, Ducante Caldwell and Bryant Wilkins. Those were just two little boys that were killed last Sunday. Two others also injured in the incident, Lawan Davis and Akina Davis. All of this happened on 22nd Street in Tampa. And as we put a few more pieces of this puzzle together to, uh, to, to understand the case, we know that Jennifer is a teacher at Muller Elementary Magnet School. She's a dance teacher there and says that she absolutely loves children. We also learned from her attorney, Barry Cohen, this morning that Jennifer had been at a rehearsal of sorts for a dance program that was last night was actually held. But that's where she had been, had been at rehearsals 
uh, shortly before those two boys were reportedly hit by Jennifer. It's now 10:14. Stay with us for more details in the case.